everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary and currently I am pregnant with our second baby girl my due date is at the beginning of October so today's video is going to be my 30th week pregnancy update I just entered into my 31st week and I'm so excited for that if you happen to like this kind of updates make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, become a part of my community. I would love to have you here. And with this being said, let's jump into this video. So let me start from the baby's measurement. In the 30th week of pregnancy, the baby is measuring approximately 40 centimeter, which is probably as long as my arm till here. And it is 1,500 grams a size of a pumpkin. I just don't know how much my baby is measuring because I didn't have any scans done during this week. I have my scan in my 31 weeks of pregnancy, so I will know exactly how much my baby is measuring. But this should be approximate measurements of my baby as well. The babies in the 30th week can already see, they can open their eyes widely, they can differentiate between dark and uh, light their brain is um, growing rapidly and they're gaining weight and getting ready for the birth. So as for my body, I have been feeling fine during this past week. I have had tons of energy, a little bit of headaches every now and then, but that was not really bad. Um, I've, all in all, I have been feeling fine. So I told you in my last pregnancy update that I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes, but at that time I didn't have any appointment with a specialist or any doctors. So I was really nervous because I didn't know what that diagnosis meant for me and for my baby. I didn't know what I was allowed to eat and what I wasn't allowed to eat. Uh, but in my 30th pregnancy week, I finally got an appointment with a doctor who specializes in diabetes. I got that appointment in a special clinic, diabetes clinic. Um, and I have to tell you guys, it was really hard for me to get an appointment in there because right now in Germany is uh, the time of school uh, holidays. So everyone is on a vacation. Most of the practices are closed. They're gonna be back in the end of August, I think. And uh, during the quarantine time, as a lot of the practices did not take many patients. Now, when we went, went back to normal, all the hospitals and clinics are full of patients, of course. So it was really hard for me to get an appointment in there. But when I got into this clinic, I was so positively surprised and I felt blessed because it was a really, really good clinic. So practically every Thursday at nine o'clock, they have a small class for pregnant women diagnosed with gestational diabetes. The class uh, lasts for an hour and I have to attend that class as well, well every single Thursday. And you have nurses and doctors who come and talk to you about your diagnosis, who go through a list of the products you're allowed to eat and you're not allowed to eat. You get a special equipment and a prescription to that equipment, of course, um, with which you can measure your uh, blood sugar on an empty stomach every single morning and then one hour after you had a meal. So I got my equipment which looks approximately like this. Um, it comes with a special small thing where the needles are which I use to, to get blood from my finger and also it comes with foils which pack, pack practically which is attached to my equipment. It looks like this. Uh, wait a second. Uh, that foil looks like this. I attach that to my equipment. It absorbs a tiny bit of blood from my finger and then shows me my sugar level in the blood. And um, I have to register everything I ate and the number of the sugar, the measurement of the sugar in my blood on a special list. And practically the doctors and nurses um, go through this list during that class and see how your body reacted on certain types of food and then give you like some advice what you can change. And what I understood from my results, because I got this equipment 
like from a pharmacy a little bit earlier than my appointment was you get you had like a sampler I would say in pharmacies which you get uh, without any charge and then practically you have to get a prescription from your doctor so you get extra films and needles so I have been measuring my blood sugar before I got to the test and I had registered all the food I got and how my blood be sugar behaved uh, so they went with me through the list and then uh, practically what we understood from that list I'm allowed to eat almost everything as long as I keep myself active I was really happy about that that there are not going to be any strict restrictions in my case uh, it can be different from a woman to woman it all depends how your body reacts to certain type of food but I also tried like to eat a piece of cake and then go to walk and my blood sugar was perfect so I was really really happy about that uh, they gave me tons of uh, advices of course the doctor made another blood test to see how my blood sugar was uh, the past three months and I had really good results so the only thing she said maybe my body react reacted uh, crazy to that amount of sugar but which I had during my second big uh, diabetes test because you get like 75 grams of glucose solution and it's a huge amount for like for a body and you have to be really really healthy so your body will react normal to that amount of sugar she was really relaxed she gave me tons of hope she said that there is nothing to be afraid of and as i am so far in my pregnancy there is nothing um I, I'm not gonna have any problems with the baby as long as I check on my sugar and I don't exaggerate with food and since then I have been really really active you guys normally when I have a meal I go for a, an hour walk and I try not to eat uh, like in the evening time because I know that I'm not gonna move as much like after a big dinner so I try to keep it either like a small amount or I just skip my dinner and eat like a cucumber or a, a tomato or something like that but I was really relieved after I talked to this specialist now I have these classes every Thursday and I'm really excited uh, it's also nice to meet all these uh, women in this group and talk to them and share with them with your experiences like it's very very nice and I'm really really happy with my clinic that was the biggest news the other thing I noticed during this week was that I was getting like muscle cramps on my legs which meant I have my I have magnesium deficiency and I increased my magnesium and then that was away as well but all in all I've been feeling good now I feel like positive and full of hope I I, I have a good feeling about this pregnancy and I have a good feeling about uh, my baby next week I have an appointment with my hebama which is the midwife I have an appointment at my doctor's office for a big scan I have my uh, appointment in my um, new school I could say for diabetes and I'm really looking forward to that I really want to see my little baby girl and see how much she's measuring and uh, as I don't I didn't have any kind of uh, bad results with my sugar now I feel a lot better so guys as you saw not a lot of things happened during the past week but everything that happened was kind of positive except for my headaches but that's okay I guess and now let me show you my bump here is my bump for 30 weeks pregnant here is the bump from the side here is the bump from the front and here is the bump from the other side so guys that was everything i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you found this video informative and useful if you're pregnant and you're experiencing some kind of symptoms let me know in the comment down below i would love to connect with you and have you as a part of my wonderful community i really i feel really blessed because i have wonderful women surrounding me and who are following me 
on this journey and I feel really really grateful for all of you and I feel really blessed so you guys thank you so so much for watching this video through if you liked it please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and I will see you in my next videos bye